Hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, uh, I want to talk about a book uh, that I have used to teach. It is called A First Course in Differential Equations with Modeling Applications. This is the older edition. This is the 10th. I believe uh, the 11th is the newest. So let's take a look inside this book. So this is the table of contents. Um, starts off with uh, definitions and terminology. Then he talks about uh, initial value problems. And then he describes various uh, mathematical models, various things that can be modeled with differential equations. So kind of an interesting read uh, if you have the time to read it. Uh, chapter two is on first order differential equations. Um, so it starts off with uh, solution curves, direction fields, then it jumps into uh, separable equations, then linear equations, exact equations, Solutions by substitutions. By this, uh, they mean Bernoulli's, um, homogeneous, and DEs of the form dy dx equals f of ax plus by plus c. In 2.6, they talk about a numerical method. So typically for people, um, chapter 2 is the hardest uh, part of the course. Uh, chapter 3 goes into some models. 3.1 does linear models, and 3.2 does nonlinear and 3.3 does modeling uh, with systems. Chapter 4 talks about higher order differential equations. So 4.1 talks about um, all of the theory uh, surrounding linear uh, differential equations with constant coefficients. 4.2 talks about reduction of order. Uh, you can skip that section and just jump into 4.3, uh, which is the homogeneous linear equations with constant coefficients. 4.4 uh, uh, does undetermined coefficients using the superposition approach. 4-5 is the same thing, but it's annihilator, so you really don't need both. You can just do one of the two. 4-6 uh, is uh, variation of parameters, and 4-7 is Cauchy-Euler equations. 4-8 we go into greens, etc. 5, uh, it's just to get some applications. 6 is series solutions. Seven is Laplace transforms. Lots of nice stuff here in the Laplace transform section. And eight, we do uh, systems and nine um, numerical solutions. Okay, so let's talk about the readability of this book. So how does this book read? Um, I think it reads fine. I wouldn't say it's amazing. I would say it's okay. If you look on uh, Amazon.com, and it's been a while since I looked there at the reviews for this book, there were some negative reviews, but I think that's to be expected. Um, this is a differential equations book, and it's a hard subject to explain and to write about. So I think the author does you know, the best um, that he can do, and it's an okay book uh, to read. Uh, is this a book that you should get? Yeah, if you can get it inexpensively, it's worth having this book. Um, it's worth trying to read it. Uh, you'll definitely learn some stuff. So I would, I would rank the readability of this book um, as okay. Okay, so what about the exercises? I think the exercises in this book are very good. I think there are more exercises in this book than in various other differential equations books. Uh, however, I think certain differential equations books have some sections um, that are covered uh, a little more thoroughly. Likewise, this one has some sections that are covered more thoroughly. So overall, I think this book has an excellent set of exercises. So if you're looking for practice problems, um, you can find plenty uh, in this book. So again, it's really good for exercises, and I think it's an okay read. And if you can get a used copy, it's a good DE book uh, to have. So overall, this is a really good uh, DE book. It's an okay read, and it has a really good set of exercises. Compared to other DE books out there, it's pretty good, right? Uh, most DE books are just okay. This one is probably a little bit better uh, than okay. That's it.